Hi folks, Sharon's just called me, she wants to cut the grass. She says the pool cord's gone on our lawnmower, so we're gonna have to change this. Right, well this is one of our own mowers. We've had this one for about 16 years. They just go on and on Briggs and Stratton. I was gonna say if you look after them, but we don't actually. I don't do anything to these. I don't think, I think I've changed the oil once in it, I think. Um, but uh, obviously the pool cord's on its way. Let me show you. If you can see there, look, it's down to its last thread. So, uh, I'm going to have to change this now. So that involves taking these two top covers off here, which is uh, just an outside cover, so that we can get to the actual pull cord mechanism under there. So let's do that now. Right, as you know, this is our little Briggs and Stratton. Whatever I do, I always disconnect the spark plug, whether I'm not working on the engine or not. Just get you just just good practice at the end of the day. So it's just one of those things you don't want to take any chances with these little petrol engines, which are actually quite powerful. When I used to ride mopeds back in the 80s, or the early 80s, my little fizzy had four brake horsepower. And something like this, Quantum 40, you can have 3.75 3, 3 or nearly four horsepower. And believe me, that'll give you, well, that chop your arm off. So just treat it with respect. It is a petrol engine vehicle, this, and uh, can cause a lot of injury. Right, that's the top cover off. Let's get that right out of the way. Right, okay, that just pokes through there. You may or may not have this cover on yours, but we've obviously got it on our one. And then we're down to our bolts. These are either three eighths or 10 mil. So let me go and get a socket for that. What we got here? Yeah, there's a 10 mil, that'll do. And as I say, the great heart's a smaller drive. Right there. And that's the great thing about these um, little Briggs and Stratton engines, as you know. You don't need a vastly, a vast tool collection. I know these are supposed to be imperial, as I say, but uh, the metric equivalents tend to do the job as well. As I say, it's a 3.8 for these, or 10 mil, or half inch when you're taking the carb mechanism off and the carb uh, fuel tank, half inch or 13 mil, the uh, metric equivalent. I know it's not engineering good practice to cross between the two, but there's no real torque settings involved here. It's just tighten up and uh, sort it out that way. So to get this out of cover off, it's just the three eighth bolts or the 10 mil bolts. But on the back of our one here, we've also got this, because we've got that external cover there, the oil dipping uh, has a dipping tube there and it can just pull out from the actual crankcase. That will leave your crankcase open. So I'm gonna try and do that in this case. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. As you can see that the oil dipstick comes out with this case. You can actually undo them two screws there and leave that in situ, but uh, all I'm going to do there is plug that with some tissue so no crap drops in it. So I'm going to just get a bit of tissue and do that. And again, I suppose what you could do if you've got the um, old type dipsticks there, is just to uh, get one of the old type dipsticks and just drop that in there for a temporary measure. That will really stop everything from getting in there. And all I'm going to do is just screw that in there. While I've got it up here, I might as well check the oil as well. But uh, yeah, this is our recoil mechanism in there. And all I'm going to do, we have to basically, this is a spring setup in there. There's a big spring in there. And all we've got to do is to basically unwind that to get all this out. And you, th you feed it through a, a hole in the, um, the actual rotating part there and then tie a knot in it. So all I'll do is get a, I need a you need a clamp for that. I'm gonna get a clamp. Well, somewhere in the shed, I've got those quick release clamps, but I can't seem to find them at the moment. So I'm gonna to have to use a standard G clamp, which is a bit of a nuisance, but uh, it will do the job. So let's just pull that out. So as I'm pulling it out, I'm just holding it back until it's in the fully open position, which I can't actually do because all the insulation inside or well, not the insulation, the outer core of the cable is, uh, well, I might be able to pull it through, hold on. It's all puckered up in there. 
the out, the, what's happened? This outer insulation is all puckered up on the inside, and I can't feed it through that hole there. So wait there, I'll go and get some cutters and just cut it. Why make life difficult, eh? Right, okay, let's get rid of that. All right, get that out of the way. And all I'll do, now I mean, if I undone that centre nut there, and then I could pull the spool out, but you've got the spring that's wound up in there, and it's a little bit of a nuisance to wind it, so you don't really need to do that. So all I'll do is just fish this out here when I find the end. Pull it out here somewhere. There we go. See, that's where, that's where it was all puckered up, look. See, I couldn't pull it out. So I'll just unwind this as per normal. While I'm holding the, <coughs> the spring under tension. And once I get it fully out, you'll see what I mean in a minute. Like there. I'm now gonna get that G-clamp. Just put that over the top. Go that way, actually. And wind that into position. Just hold it in the fully open position, that's all. As I say, with them ones that you just press and release, it's, it's a lot simpler than using the old G-clamps, the old-fashioned G-clamps like this. Right, so there we go. Now that's just basically held that in the wide, wide open position. I don't know whether you can see that in there, but now all I can do is just pull that cord right the way through if I wanted to, look. But because it's got that puckered up bit, I'm just going to cut the knot off. Like that. And then pull it straight away through. And that's it, that's the cord out. Now, I know for a fact now that if I put these two bits together, that will give me the length of my cord there. And I could do it that way, but I'm not going to bother with that because you may have bought one that hasn't got the pull cord on. So we'll just measure it as we go. So all I'm going to do there is to take our brand new, I buy this on the roll. It's a lot cheaper to do that way. And this is um, 35 millimeter uh, nylon starter cord. It's the proper stuff. And when you buy it off of the roll like this, it's 80 pence per meter someone's put on there. I didn't, I just bought this from a car boot sale. Uh, I think I paid a couple of quid for this remainder of this roll, so I've definitely made me money back here. So just pull that off, and what we're going to do is just poke that through the hole. What you want to do is just get a flame and just melt the end of your cable. You could do it with a match, just like that. And then all you do then is feed your cable through your little hole in there like that as you can see pull it through and just tie a little knot in it nothing great there we go like that and you'll find that that will then seat and that won't pull through there as you can see and then undo your clamp like thus Get out of the way, and then now that should start to pull in and spool until it takes up all the slack that you need. And you can see what happens there is that when you pull cord, it them two little white things fly out the side centrifugal, and that's what latches on to these little gaps here and that's what turns your engine over so as you can see look that's all working fine so wait till it pulls all the way in naturally to about there and that's it that's ready now so all I'm going to do is turn this over put that pull that out of there lay that back over there for now Get, make sure your dipstick goes back in where it should do and with that one at the front, make sure when you put the case on that you're not pinching your your cable there for your, your spark plug. So let me just whip these up. Like that. Okay. And we'll measure off our cable. 
Now don't forget we've got our cable in here. This is the same sort of thing. This cable here with the um, the old cable the way it connects to it. You just pull it through as you can see. Just another little knot there as you can see. And uh, we just cut that off. Like that. Pull that through. And as you can see my starter handle sits up here. So all I'm going to do is basically just measure off to there, like that. Look where my cable's going to end up. Allow a little bit more for the knot, say about there. <clears throat> Cut it off again. This is our new lot. Try and get a better pair of pliers than what I've got here, or even with a knife will be more accurate. This ain't a very good pair of pliers I've got here. And again, let me just burn the end of that. Like that. And again, just tie a little knot in the end of that. It's not rocket science. And that will be just enough to stop it from pulling through. Hopefully. There we go. Pull it right in there. Now, hopefully, that should be just long enough. to go around and sit in there like that but don't do as I've just done because I forgot to put the outer casing on <laughs> so I've got to take that out of there now times I do that see I could have left that out and started it again but I thought I'd show you it because you're probably going to do it as well whack that through there now we can put that on there I'll screw that in in a minute and then literally just fold that through there like that line her up I love it when I cock up, and I think you do and all. Get that back in there. I didn't check the oil, did I? I'm going to do that before I have a go at starting it. I think the last time I worked on this lawnmower, I put the blade on the wrong way around. <laughs> Days. Was that a bit of tissue there? I will just check the oil whites here. Right, that there. Back in. Back out. No oil on the dipstick. No, could still do with some more. That's unlike me, leaving it, let, let it go this low. What's that, baby? I said you said it'd take a couple of seconds. Why haven't you showed them the state of that lawnmower? She's having a go at me. I know they know the state of it, baby. I can't believe it. She's actually digging me out for the state of our lawnmower. <laughs> I Unbelievable. Where did I put that blinking cover gone? Where did I put the dipstick? Uh, I've lost the dipstick. Oh, I got it. She says, oh, I am the dipstick. Unbelievable. Is it I bet there's no petrol. Yes, there is. Right, okay, we're right in the middle of her now. Right in the middle of the, uh... in fact, I'm gonna go to the whole hog and put a drop more in. How about that? I'm not gonna mess about. God, I can't believe it, it must've been quite low. There you go. If you're gonna do the job, baby, properly, now, if you're going to do the job, you've got to do it properly. Get someone else, Get someone else in, what do you mean? Get I taught him all he knows. What about Paul Stamp? <laughs> Paul Stamp, mower man, here yeah, Paul. She says, get Paul Stamp in, mower man. Perfect, here we go, that'll do. I don't, I don't know why I didn't check that the last time. Anyway, never mind. Cable's changed, let's see if it starts up, come on. Come out of the way. 
Right. I don't know if there's any petrol in it, baby. You said there was. It might be. Let's have a look. Let's have a little check, shall we? Yes. Whether there's enough, I don't know. One, two, three. Give a couple for luck. Well, let's see if our pull cord works. You ready? <laughs> I think it might be too short. I think I'll cut it too short. I've cut it too short. <laughs> All that I was giving it. Hold on. Oh, I've left the blinking plug lead off, and I. That's what it was. Come on, Paul Stamp. This will fly now. Look at that. I told you so. I'm used to it having a longer pullback. That's why it flew out of me hand. Look, first time, Sharon. <laughs> first. Oh, fuck, you got it. It's still cold, isn't it? Prime it again. Stop it, baby. Hey, look. That's what happens when you rush stuff. What I should have done. Call that eh? Call that <laughs> what I should have done. Let me sit down for a minute. Oh, baby. What I should have done. Ah. Woo! See, because I'm rushing, I bugger things up. Yeah? And that's what's happened here. I should have, before I put the clamp on, I should have wound it up a bit more. And that would have given me more spring uh, to give me more extension when I pull out, because I only put enough. What am I talking about? Enough thread on, enough cable on. Sound of your voice. No, don't, baby. I love just put enough cable on to uh, baby. pull my arm off. <laughs> don't call so I should. Me, baby. I will get that sorted, Sharon. I'm not happy with that. I will change the, the cable. About four years time. Yeah, next time I service it. Oh, About the end of the decade. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Just getting off some of these tape marks. Here's something else for you. You know we've got this gazebo here. That one here. Well, we went out the other day and uh, normally we take the cover off so that the wind don't catch it. But this was yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. Yesterday she went out and I come out here. This was upside down nearly in the pond. So I'm here struggling on my own with the wind as well. well put it, put, it put it up straight. And as I've got to turn it back over, see the wall lamp over there? I've hit the wall lamp and smashed the wall lamp off, haven't I? So I've got that to do, which is over sitting on the table there, so. Another five years. <laughs> so I've got to do that one. And this is the, the way things happen sometimes. You get days when everything you touch goes wrong. Today is what, I shouldn't be working today, Sharon, anyway. I don't mean. No, today's Father's Day. So Every this is why. Yeah, look at here, look, here she goes, look. Come on in, baby, I want to see you operate that pull cord. If it's good enough for you, then I'm going to keep it like that. Because you've only got short arms, you see. You want, hold on, whoa, 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 give it a pump with the old petrol, because it's still cold, don't forget. Go on in. Give it three pumps. I think it feels a bit, a little bit lower petrol, doesn't it? We've got petrol, baby. Come on in. Now, don't forget, you ain't got a long arm pull here. It's a little pull. Oh, superb. Off you go. Start at the edge. Well, 
Well, that works fine for you, baby. What do you say? Thanks. Thank you. I've done some maintenance for you, baby. Yeah, come on then. All right. Off you go. Let me just show them what we just picked up. We went round to Uncle Dave's house and he's, he's, he's got his old lawnmower. He's just giving it to me. Mine. Hey? <laughs> it's got a better coat of paint on it. Anyway, let's show you what he's given us. Hold on. Come on, hurry up, baby. The dogs love it out here, don't they? Yeah, before you start that up, show, let me just show them this. Yeah, this is what we just picked up. It's a self-drive. No, it's yeah, self-drive lawnmower. Uh, he went over a stump on it, and it's obviously come to a standstill. It's broken the under tray as well, so I've got to fix that. But nice little lawnmower. This we might even keep this ourselves. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. It might be easier for you. Come on in, baby. Pull start that little base beast. <laughs> go on. It'll go. Give it, a, give it another purge. It should have stayed on there. Maybe you need that extra rope then to uh, just to turn the engine over a bit faster. Go on in. Off you go. Once it's warm, it should be fine. Go on. It might run out, yeah, go on. Go on, come here, let me have a go. Right, let me try. You've already primed it, so. Control, like that. Ooh, ooh. Yeah? What did you switch it off for? Well, I've got to let go of the handle, shell. There you are. See you later. I'll leave her to it. See, I'll bugger things up as well. I'm not in the mood today, that's what it is. I should have made that longer, that call, which I will correct anyway. Can't let us struggle with that. Yeah, so not much happening today. We're just going to tinker around the garden here. And we've been out for uh, breakfast this morning. All you can eat breakfast, which is very nice. And we've just been around to see Uncle Dave. We've just turned 70, so... She wanted to cut the grass. I was going to pull some weeds out. You ain't got to see that. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon now on a Sunday, so we'll see you again in the next video. I've been doing some welding on the Reliant chassis. Those of you who want to see any pictures of that, if you join my Facebook page, I'll put a link in the description below and you can see my latest bit of welding I've done on that. So that's turning out okay now. So I've just flipped it over now so that I can do the bottom part of the welding, which should be the final bit. There's not a lot to do there. You'll see that if you look at the pictures. It's uh, facebook.com forward slash retro restore. Search happy page, uh, page on there and just uh, I'll accept you as a friend and you can see all the extra pictures that I put up in there of the different projects which I may be working on which I won't put on video you know it's just like boring pictures of me doing a bit of welding or whatever so anyway I'll leave it for now and I'll see you again in the next video and until then bye for now come on hurry up <laughs>